Okay, I'll start by going over my supplies. I have a piece of Arches 100% cotton. This is a six by nine inch piece. Um, I have my paints I'll go over as I use them. I have a paper towel. I'll be using various brushes. I'll start off using this really big uh, Princeton number six Neptune brush. I have my water jars up here. So I just sketched out like a little side um, house and like where I want the land just kind of stop and I'll just start painting it up here for the sky and then the bottom for and then you're gonna need um, to have white gouache for this tutorial so I'm just gonna get this wet up here the sky area oh, get it pretty damp that's not too wet not hit the house part I'm gonna grab some of my indigo paint and really water that down I want this like kind of stormy cloudy kind of sky and I'm just wash you see I'm just I got a lot of I got a lot of water on the indigo so it's really light and I'm just washing it in this whole area right behind the house all in here just going back and forth what's great about using a big brush is that it can lend itself to if you want to get a little darker on top add a little more indigo more stormy skies more stormy clouds just kind of pushing those in And then I'll dab it on my paper towel. I want to go back in and grab some of the paint out of there. Make it stormy, but not too stormy. And you could just take the paper towel if you wanted to and make clouds. Now I'm not going to make them super white, so I'm just going to kind of lightly touch it, picking up the paint. Still want kind of that stormy kind of look in the sky. If you want to get them more like real clouds, you can go ahead and push down harder and I'll have more of the paint will come up and be more like real white clouds. Yeah. I'll get that to where I want it to go. Now down here, I'm going to have a fun. Um, I have this Viridian green. I mix with my deep yellow. This is the cadmium yellow deep. This is Viridian green. See, it's very bright. I'm using this big old brush again. Grabbing some more of this yellow. Getting okay, really wet. I want this like bright green kind of color. And I'm just going to wash this in all up in here just like that and all down in here I'm just going to grab that paint add some more water I'm just going to wash it all in here and from here take some of that green again I'll add a little indigo I'm going to grab a different brush. I'm going to grab my Princeton number 8 Neptune series. So I want to get the green a little bit darker. Uh, the indigo, oop, not indigo, too much. <laughs> too much in the green. We'll have to put some over here. There we go. And that green. And I'm just going to be dabbing here like this. Because we have these. Uh, bushes back here. I'm just going to be dabbing this dark color in here. I can even throw that indigo dark color in here. Just, some, just See, I'm just tapping it in. Same thing over in here. Let the color bleed out a little bit. It's bleeding too much like this. I'm going to have to get more thicker creamier paint so that's less water 
more paint, which I'm doing. So it's a little thicker. There's going to be the little spider marks here, which we don't really want to have. We'll add a little red to tone this down. Just dabbing in some darker tones in here. A little more red. This dark tone right in here, right behind the house. And dabbing in some dark ones over here too. It's still wet down here. We're going to go back in with this green color. We're just going to dab this in. All over here. See, I'm just sporadically dabbing that. And then we can start doing some lines like this also. See, I'm just wishing those in. I'm just going to keep adding some darker tones. I'm going to put some of this carmine red color with my viridian. So we're just having fun making like these whooping grass kind of like marks. Go back in and add some of this bright green. Just dabbing it and then adding some grass marks as you see here. You want to get the feel that this is kind of like a wild field. So we're going to be adding in different tones of greens just going to go in here like this. And the bright lime green is really great because that's kind of like Queen Anne's Lace has that bright palish kind of green. I'm just going to make some blobs like this around. This one's down here. And then I'm going to bow back in. Get my Viridian green. Add some of this red, so it's like a brownish green. Get some of those dark wispy lines in here. It's this is real thick. This is just break basically like right out of the tube, so it's not bleeding as much. And it goes it, on the damp paper. And you can put it up here again. Where you lost. It was bleeding like crazy. <laughs> Again, down here, you can make some more lines. Add in some of this, while it's still damp, just dab it in, you're just dabbing this in here. Then just dabbing this color in here. See, I'm just keep adding it. Crisscross the, the lines like that. Went wild and free, basically. I'm going back in and I'm dabbing this deep color in here. <laughs> there is a fly on my paper. <laughs> or a tiny little bug. Just kind of keep dabbing. And go so add some more red. Just dabbing this color. some of that green in there, get some more bright green in there. You want a bunch of different kind of greens floating about. You see this is, there's no specific way that I'm painting it. I'm just dabbing the color as you see. Clean my brush. Put this color in here. Add some more yellow. Keep doing those wispy lines. Moving up and over in here. I'm going to throw in a couple of 
with some brown twigs kind of so I'll put the uh, red carmine red mixed in so it's a light brown just throw in another color okay now we're going to work on this bushy tree area here can add some trees just a long stem and then you can just kind of wiggle your tip of your brush back and forth like a pine tree like that just back and forth see I'm just going back and forth it doesn't have to look like it's realistic it's, you know you get the idea that it's a pine tree or I want to go and add some brown. Here's the red. Mix with that green. Take that brush. I'm putting the one over right here. Just to balance it, put a few over here. And we'll grab our green. Again, I'm just just moving the paint back and forth. As you see here. Just to indicate the trees. And you get those green trees. And again, if you want to put some more dark tones in here. I'm going to go up with the white in a bit. I'm just going to throw in some more of these dark tones down in here. A little more creamy texture on the damp paper. It all makes sense eventually. <laughs> right now it kind of looks like a bunch of blobs, right? Well, that's okay. You can go back in and even add some more. Just dabbing it like that. Can add some yellow. It's all going to make sense soon. Okay, so that's a little wild and crazy. We're going to have to let this part dry. And we'll work on our house. Um, you can make it any color you want. I'm going to make a gray. So I have the in the indigo already. I can throw some of this uh, black I had in there, so it's a bluish gray. And we're gonna paint the roof. I'll just go in here and add the gray tone. And then. Over in here, just slightly lighter than the roof. Kind of leave a little white edge. To the window. If you, it's still wet, you might want to wait. I think we're going to wait and come back. I'm going to dry this and come back. And then we'll finish it so it won't bleed. Okay, so you see me do, I did a lot of those little white things. Now I'm going to add that same, like I told you, that lime green stems going through where they go through, crisscrossing to the Queen Anne's Lace. And they should show up because the other part is darker. If it doesn't, you can put a darker color next to it. But see how this comes right in there and you can see the brightness of these stems coming through. You want this to just look like a huge field of, and you can take the, t take the same color and just dab, 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 bright areas here, or use some dry brush it out here. So it looks like this great field of Queen Anne's Lace. Grab some of this white.
See him going in and adding that right in there. So you see those bright stems. Anyway, so we mix that color again. If you have just all you have is white gouache and you can mix all those colors and it'll be a light pale green, but you want to just brighten up these trees a little bit and just dab them in here just to pull them out a little more and the bushes around them down here. You can add some of this yellow paint. Just pull it out. Just brighten it up over in here. It looks a little too dark. Pretty much that's how it goes. You can go back in and add some deeper tones in here next to the this around. Next to the Queen Anne's lace in between if you want to get real detailed. See I'm just adding some darker tones right next to the little stems and inside. It's not necessary. It's just, you know, an extra step if you want to do that. But I think you guys can see that they look like little Queen Anne's lace. And you can go to town with uh, how many Queen Anne's lace you stick in there. <laughs> Let me just peel this up. Taking half the, the board with me. And I hope this filmed perfectly because, you know, I'm having issues with the phone and now that in Corona time, you can't go to the Genius Bar. I tell you. Technology. And there we go. Queen Anne's Lace in the Field. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. And don't forget that I'm moving everything to Patreon for the exclusive separate um, extra videos. I'm still doing my YouTube videos as you can see here. So if you want to go over there and check the, that out, please go do so. You can see the link on my about page or under the description, description box of this video. Take care guys and I'll speak to you soon.